you voted on Instagram for one big video at the end of Inktober of me speaking about Inktober. So that's what I did. Here are all of my drawings that I did for Inktober. I recorded every one of them and except the first one. Uh, other than that, I recorded every single drawing and I have them all right here playing for you. So let me talk about Inktober. I said this a few times already all over the internet. Uh, basically, Inktober can go suck it. You know, I was pretty angry. The reason for that is just because it's pretty hard. I mean, it's hard. Draw something every single day that is finished, completely done. Sketching something every day, I wouldn't have a problem with that. But since I wanted to get better at inking and drawing my characters and I wanted to have the continuity of... Continuity? Continuity. I don't know. Uh, but I wanted to have that for the entire series, pretty much, of Inktober. I wanted to have 31 drawings that look all visually pleasing and in the same category, which did not happen because I do not have 31 drawings. I didn't end up making it, which is pretty obvious, but it's also not the end of the world. I was very disappointed in myself at the beginning when I first thought that I'm, I wouldn't, when I knew I didn't, I wasn't going to make it. But I don't think that it's really that bad because it's about getting better for me. It's about getting better at stuff and I did. So it's fine. Now, enough of me talking about this. Let's talk about the drawings a little bit. First drawing of all, Kusame. Kusame is probably my favorite character, especially to draw. I love drawing him. I used to hate drawing him because I didn't know how I wanted him to look. So it was really a struggle and I never, like when I, I, I was able to draw one time, but he looked good and that was it. I wasn't able to draw it again. He always looked off. I did not record him because I was live streaming him. I live streamed the process of him draw, of drawing him on Instagram. So if you do not want to miss me live stream, then you should follow me on Instagram. Then number two, we have Matsuri. Matsuri was not my second drawing, but she was my second Inktober drawing. So what am I going to say about this? I I like it. I think it's okay. I It captures her, her the way she is pretty well. So I'm, I'm happy with it. Yeah, it's fine. Day number three, we have a new character. It's not a new character. But I haven't really shown him on my channel yet. You've seen him on um, well, you've seen him on Instagram. Goddamn. Um, Shuichi Yamato. Uh, yeah. What am I gonna say about him? There's not a lot to say. That it's just gonna spoil stuff if I say anything. So you will not know too much. Day number four, we have a new character. This time for real, Akio Gosho. First of all, I want to say, uh, I don't think I've ever said this, but same with um, Matsuri and him also, Gosho. Uh, I have a lot of names. I have like a little book where I have my names in there. And then when I have a new character, I look at the names and I see which one fits the best with the character. And then I choose that name. For, uh, for him, I chose the name Gosho. You might have heard him. He is the, I think, I'm pretty sure the artist of that made Detective Conan, which is a show I really enjoy. I like that. Same with Matsuri. Matsuri is, um, it's, the name is from Matsuri Hino, which is the artist from Vampire Night, which is the artist that inspired me for this story way years ago, so many years ago. So I wanted to give it a little tribute. Same goes with my other character from the other story, Naoko. Naoko is from Naoko Takeuchi, which is the artist from Sailor Moon. So I just wanted to put names in there that are from artists that inspired me so that's why he's called gosho <laughs> now you know okay day number five we have the character that is haunting my dreams um gosh i am not able to draw her a second time the way she was before she's she always looks different she always looks off she's supposed to be very beautiful i don't think i am able to do that <laughs> apparently uh, it's just such a pain, honestly. She looks really off, her face is not right, it's just, I don't like this right now. Uh, number six is even worse. I don't like this ring at all. The eyes are horrible, the mouth looks dumb, it's just not good at all. It bothers me that it's in here. <laughs> I just don't like the drawing. Um, especially also because the character ends up not looking like this, so that's just great. The character is called Natsue Sakihara. I didn't know how to draw her. I knew there was a character like this. 
I knew their the character already, but I didn't know how I wanted her to look like. And then I was like ugh, trying to draw her. And then I came up with something all along the way. Like I just made it up as I went. She kind of ended up looking a little bit like me. Not really, but you know. She has the same haircut kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know. So she does not look like me. But okay. Day number seven. We have a new character which is called Hiroshi Sato. Hiroshi Sato is the uh, father from Riko Sato, which we just had. Did I say your name? This is Riko Sato. Okay. He's the father. Um, I think I drew him really well. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to redraw him ever. We'll, we'll see. It's the first time I drew him. For day number eight, we have a change. I had the characters down. And I have a lot more characters that I could draw, but I was like, you know, I don't know what to do. And I don't want to just push myself drawing weird characters if this is not gonna that, It's not gonna work, okay? So I'm just not gonna do it. So I drew, um, I thought because everyone was drawing Halloween stuff anyways, I could do the same thing. So we have a Halloween drawing here. We have Matsuri as a witch. <sighs> Listen, she should have been a vampire. I messed up, okay? I didn't think of it at the time. I messed up. She should have been a vampire, but she just wasn't. Now she's a witch. Whatever. Okay, next. Let's get over it. I don't want to talk about it. I think she looks kind of cute, but also not. The sketch is really nice. The inking, not so much. Whatever. Then for day number nine, we have the cutest drawing in all. Kuzame as a ghost. How cute is that? I mean, let's all just be completely real with ourselves right now. Don't lie. It's absolutely adorable, okay? So, I don't know what else to say, but it's cute. For day 10, we have the last of the Halloween drawings. I'm really, really bad at this, apparently. So, this is the last of the Halloween drawings. I did three. For October, I did three Halloween drawings. God damn. This is Shuichi as a mummy, because of course he already has half of the bandages, or, you know, it, it just made sense. Then for day 11, we are going back to character designing. I came up with this drawing, uh, with this character. God. How am I even allowed to talk anyway? God damn. But yes, we have a character. I realized that her, um, her left arm is a little too short. No need to point it out, I know it, okay. Other than that, I think she'll pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool, god damn. For day number 12, we have our Dear, what's his name again? Akio. I can't keep their names by heart. Um, we have Akio. I was trying to draw expressions, which didn't work because the expressions I was looking at from like a challenge thing um, weren't expressions that my characters would have. So basically, I was like, okay, but like, no. So I drew one of them, which fits with the character. All the other ones would not fit with any other character. So what's the point, you know? So I scrapped that idea. For day number 13, we have a new character, ladies and gentlemen. This character was the second drawing of Inktober, the second sketch, but I never drew him finished because he wasn't an original character, he was just something I made up. I wanted him to look like Jake Skellington, but as a human kind of thing. But then I was like, let's leave it, I'm doing Inktober right now, and I don't want it to be all my original characters, so I'm not gonna draw a fan art right now. And then I ended up drawing another drawing that look, ended up looking exactly like him and I was like, hold up, I could just make this into this character. So now he is a character. His name is Masao Jiso. And the day after that, we have the same thing. So on day 14, we have him again. On day 14, he does not look like that good, but you know, I had to raise a lot and then just, God damn, I don't want to talk about this, okay? On number 15, we have something different. Uh, on 15, I decided to... This is not day 15, by the way. It's just number 15 of the drawings. Like, you know. But on number 15, I decided it was time to draw something else. And because I was thinking about those uh, expressions again, I was like, how can I do this? And I actually already drew a few pages, not really, like, well, layout pages kind of thing, um, off my story, a few things, and those are 
that's an expression from one of them. So yeah, Matsuri is exhausted and sweating. And on 16 we have dear Kuzame with the speech bubble saying, I mean it. Very determined and looking straight into your soul saying it. I just love this one. I don't know. But um, of course it's Kuzame, so I love it, so you know. And now we have day 17. Day 17 is basically the last day I drew. Um, I messed up. I didn't finish it. So day 17 is the last thing I have. I don't have any other drawings. Day 17 is the last of it. And I'm really sorry. Mostly to myself that I didn't do it. I didn't make it, but you know, as I said, I was very disappointed in myself first, but now I'm, I'm okay with it. Because I did get in the kind of thing that Inktober is all about. Practicing, getting better at stuff that you're doing. Which I did. I did get better. Uh, for example, the last character here, uh, as you can see, she looks a lot different. If you can even recognize her, maybe by the haircut. We got Natsue again. Natsue Sakihara uh, for the last day of Inktober. Number 17. I did 17 drawings in 31 days. I did like half. I mean, I did another drawing, but that was like redraw. It doesn't count. Okay, it doesn't count. Um, so yeah, this is what we have. Uh, am I disappointed in myself? No. I'm happy with myself? No. It's fine. And I'm okay with it. And yeah, so. Uh, this character changed a lot. And I'm happy about that. She has like these veins on her neck. Um, I don't know if they do look like veins. They might not. I tried googling it. The, don't google veins guys it's just not worth it like your life is is worth a lot and vein searching veins on google is just not like that's just not a happy thing to do uh take my word for it okay it's it's not nice so uh don't search for that i don't know how to draw veins yet but i'll get there eventually um she it's it's a character, I like her, I like all my characters, um, yeah. So that's the last thing of Inktober, isn't it? Um, I want to put out another drawing today if possible, if not, if th then I don't, but I might, and I might not. And I might put it out tomorrow, or maybe next week, we'll see. Maybe it'll be next week's drawing, or this week, well, this Friday's drawing. Um, yeah, with that, uh, all I have to say is happy Halloween, and I wish you guys, I don't know what you're doing on Halloween, but have fun, be careful, don't go into someone's basement for candy, okay, and yeah, I'm just gonna go now, I'm gonna leave you with it, ah, happy Halloween. Follow me on Instagram for live streams. Bye!